Hi, Trip. I'm a longtime listener of your How to Talk to Girls podcast. I'm a huge fan of your work and your advice. It has helped me with my relationships through college and through the pandemic with your advice for dating apps. I've listened to a lot of your podcasts, and I've tried to find an answer to my question without resolution. Oh, I can't wait. This is exciting. A little backstory. I just graduated from college and had to move back home for a job that will help me get accepted at graduate school. I live with my family in a rural county with less than 50,000 residents. The nearest bars and clubs to talk to women, to talk to attractive women around my age, are an hour away. I do well and have good conversations and get phone numbers, but I can never manage to seal the deal and go home with any of them. I feel like a tool when it's almost closing and I ask, so where are you going after this? Mainly because I don't want to drive home. I've had a few drinks. My question is, how can I get a girl to bring me home with her after a night out drinking and having conversation and building attraction? Thanks, Nate. Nate, great question. I got an answer for you. I want to I want to give you an answer that is going to truly change the game for you. So instead of thinking about how you can get her home, okay? So you're saying, how can I get a girl to come home with you after a night of drinking and having conversation and building attraction? Focus on getting dates instead of same night lays, SNLs, we used to call them. So instead of trying to get an SNL, same night lay, go for dates. I'll tell you why. In the long run, I believe you will actually end up sleeping with more women and dating more women if you end up getting their number and then going on a date with them. So if you get a bunch of numbers in a night... Not all of them, but some of them will convert to a date. And from there, it's going to be easier to get to the point where you guys are sleeping together because she's going to feel more attracted to you than trying to go for the pull. Of course, you can always get a bunch of numbers and then try to pull one home, I guess. But still, my point is, is that even with that one that you're trying to pull home, you'll be, odds are you'll be more likely to end up sleeping with her after you guys end up exchanging numbers and you ask her out. So it's more efficient that way. I want you to think dates over pulling. Again, pulling is pulling her home for the jargon out there. I want you to focus on specifically getting this to a date. You will see more success this way because it is harder And I'm not trying to steer you away from something that's hard. And even if you're looking for casual relationships, I should add, if you're looking for casual relationships, you still can go on dates. Some guys are like, oh, no, dates is like too romantic. It might might turn into like a, I'm not trying to get a girlfriend. That's fine. You don't have to. People go on dates all the time and have casual relationships. So don't think that date equals romance. It just means two people hanging out that are attracted to each other. And then you can build even more attraction. And what happens is, so what's the reason, by the way, why most pulls don't work besides logistics, right? Logistically, it can be tough. She's with her friends. People are far. You've been drinking, whatever. Besides logistics, the number one reason why it's harder to convert and get some woman to come home with you is the idea of building comfort, is the idea of safety. She does not feel safe so fast like a guy does women have to worry about their physical safety they have to worry about their emotional safety they have to worry about their friends and people thinking that they're slutty even themselves feeling that they're slutty women are constantly monitoring their social standing so they don't want to be thought of as a slut or someone who's easy that's why you can ask any guy that they'd, they'd take a girl home in a second and ask a girl maybe she wants to but she's more hesitant why because she doesn't feel the comfort yet. The formula is comfort plus attraction equals compliance. You need to build comfort with her, i.e. make her feel safe. And one way to do that is by being in a variety of environments with her, also having a variety of conversation topics. This reinforces that you two are the only constants. And so you build comfort and then you build attraction And then you get compliance. Compliance meaning then she'll go home with you. Then she'll go on a date with you. Then she'll sleep with you. So it's it's harder and less of a conversion to take a girl home than getting her number. And that's the reason why. 
So I urge you to think about this in a different way, Nate. And I understand it seems like you're in a small town. you got a lot of logistical issues. But either way, if you're an hour away, it's no different doing that than getting a date. And for someone like you, it's going to be more important to, or easier, I should say, to get a date than to pull them home because of your logistical issue. So think about that, guys. Think about dates over the idea of having to pull her home. 